All right, welcome back, love. So, six question to ask yourself to um, help you to produce a bountiful harvest is consistency. Am I being consistent with tending to my seed? Am I being consistent um, with nurturing my seed? Um, so pretty much, are you doing things on a consistent basis? I think this is one of the most important um, ways and aspects that um, that is important, that discipline that's needed. That, that consistency day in and day out when no one is watching and when everyone is watching, when you see results and when you don't see results, when you feel like it and when you don't feel like it, right? You have to still show up um, every day, rain, sleet or snow, right? Rain, hail or snow, you have to show up and show out. So are you disciplined? When things are not going as planned or do you give up the first sign of failure, right? We know failure is the main ingredient to success, um, but it's important to fail forward, right? And um, nothing great has ever come to pass with inconsistent action. Trust me. I know. <laughs> I know firsthand that inconsistency is, um, it, it, you know, just nothing great comes from inconsistency. Um, and so when you act like a stamp, right, a stamp that is when you stick to something into, um, until you get there, then you have a better chance of manifesting something opposed to only giving it your best when you feel like it, right? Uh, we are emotional and uh, creatures of comfort. And so a lot of times um, with, you know, the things that come with producing a bountiful harvest, it comes with, you know, uncomfortability. It comes with stepping outside of your comfort zone. It comes with um, when that honeymoon stage um, is over, like, you know, when you first have this vision or goal, you're really excited about it. And then you start realizing all that comes with it. You like, oh, <laughs> OK. All right. You start getting discouraged. Right. Because you don't see um, it producing in the time frame that you think, um, you know, we become what we want by being consistent. And it, it kind of reminds me of the bamboo tree. It's like one of my favorite um, stories that, that kind of explains the law of gestation. But, you know, the bamboo tree, it takes about five years for that bad boy to grow. Um, and, you know, you plant the seed uh, the first four years, nothing grows, right? So you have to consistently water and nurture that seed. That can get discouraging when it's taking years and years for your vision, for your business, for a relationship, for a, a prayer that you've been praying for to manifest, and it's taking so long. It can get discouraging, right? Some some of us can lose faith, right? But it's not until like that fifth year that that bamboo tree seed uh, sprouts through the ground. And not only like that, but like within hours and days of it sprouting through the ground, it can grow almost up to 100 feet tall. So can you imagine the roots, the things that you're not able to see, the roots, the strong and thick roots that had to be put in place for that tree to even grow to 100 feet, right? Because the seed knows the potential that it can grow to. So just making sure that it is grounded um, and strong to with, withstand and withhold uh, the storms of life and, uh, and, and the test of time um, is truly a testament of um, Sometimes you can't see the growth that is being done in the inside, in the dark, under the dirt. Um, and so, um, you know, faith, 
right? And consistency um, is going to be your friend when you are planting a seed. And in the vision, it's not going to manifest in the same time frame that someone else's seed manifests, right? Um, and so during this time, during this consistency, you know, you're watering that, you're um, gaining clarity, you're becoming more and more of who you are, you're getting stronger um, spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, to even be able to handle um, the harvest that comes with the seed that you are producing, right? And so are you being consistent when things are not growing when you expect them to grow, right? Divine timing is at play. Can you still nurture and tend to that seed um, when, you know, when you're getting tired, right? Uh, when you're getting discouraged, when you're losing all hope and all faith, can you continuously and consistently uh, water and tend and nurture that seed, okay? Meet me in the next video for the last way on um, how to produce a bounty for harvest.